To write the name for COF3, we first need to recognize that CO, that's cobalt, that's a transition metal, and fluorine, that's a nonmetal. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for COF3. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. So CO, that's just cobalt. Next, we write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So F, that's fluorine, lowercase f. And we cross out the ending here, the I-N-E, and replace it with I-D-E. So far, we have the name cobalt fluoride for COF3. Cobalt, though, that's a transition metal. So we need to write the charge on the cobalt between the names here. We know that the fluorine forms ions that are 1 minus. And we have three of these fluoride ions. So 3 times 1 minus, that's 3 minus. Cobalt has to be 3 plus. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 3 in parentheses here between the names. So the name for COF3 is cobalt 3 fluoride. In this Roman numeral 3, that reflects the 3 plus we have on the transition metal on the cobalt here. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.